Hey everybody, I'm Randall Frank P, and today I got a special review for you guys of a special pair of headphones. I'm going to keep it kind of short, but I wanted to talk to you about them because they're pretty cool. Now this headphone review is going to be the newer model of an older pair of headphones we've seen in the past. have been highly regarded as one of the best, most popular, and unique pair of headphones on the market. And of course I'm talking about the Bear Dynamic Custom One Pros. They're one of the most unique headphones because they have those special bass ports on the bottom where you can tune the sound of your headphones to how you like. They came out a few years ago, Bear Dynamic discontinued the older model, and they just released a newer one, and that of course is the newer, more expensive Bear Dynamic Custom Studio headphones. I'm going to talk to you guys about the full rundown, my thoughts on them, and what I think about them. Just if you're an audio follower, you want to get into the headphone market. Now, as I mentioned, the older Custom One Pros are very popular and unique, mainly due to the fact of their availability and affordability. They've been available for a few number of years now on a large number of retailers from eBay to Amazon, Guitar Center. Pretty much any website that's going to sell headphones, you're going to find these in one of the top sellers. Um, they just recently discontinued them for whatever reason. They still do have them, like I said, available on like eBay or Amazon. But they put out the newer custom studios, and a lot of people are asking why they did this. And the main reason is these took a massive price jump. The older Custom One Pros uh, retail for $199. They can be found for much cheaper, usually between the range of $120 to $150. These come in at a whopping $299. So what are the big upgrades here? Well, to the ordinary eye, there's not much different here in terms of appearance. They still have the same customizable headband, side plates, the Bear Dynamic Famous Cups, the very unique base ports on the bottom, and the removable cord. The only change that comes with these is going to be the difference in ohms. The old Custom One Pro's uh, ohm range was 16 ohms. These took a massive jump to 80 ohms. And the reason that is, is because if they stay true to their name, they are the Custom Studios. These are mainly tuned finally to be just for studio use. Okay, so tuned for studio use, what does that even mean? Um, well, since these do require uh, larger ohms to run, that means you're gonna need more power to make these things kick to their full potential. Yes, technically you can still use them on your phone or your tablet. Uh, the issue is, since they're gonna require more power, you're not gonna get them to their full capability. They're not gonna sound too vibrant, and it's gonna be kind of low in the volume range. I use a very affordable Fio E10, which is an amp and a DAC combined. And even with that, I have some trouble pushing these to their full potential, I've noticed, uh, with this music or gaming on my PC. So again, since these do require a larger ohm to run, you're going to need higher grade equipment to get the best out of these, which is why they are tuned for studio use. I've had the Custom Studios for about a month now, and I put them through the usual routine that I do in order to review headphones, which is how they stack up in PC gaming, listening to music, watching movies, and just everyday PC use. And honestly, they didn't really come out on the bad end of my typical review style here. Listening to music was still a great time. I loved hearing a bunch of different ranges and different songs because you go all the way up to 35,000, uh, the frequency range there. So you're going to hear a lot of different sounds and stuff and music and ambient noises that you wouldn't usually hear with any other ordinary pair of headphones. Um, gaming was still pretty good. I found that since it does require more ohms to power these, um, I had to turn the volume in the game usually up a lot more than I usually would because I have it kind of down for when I'm streaming, but that wasn't an issue and I still had no problem, you know, um, targeting enemies and stuff due to the great positional music, the positional audio that these stereo headphones allow you to have. And comfortability was not an issue with these um, since they do allow for a lot of customization due to the custom name. Uh, you can customize the velour ear pads to leather or anything else you want in terms of and also with the color, um, the back plates, you know, the customization of these is really cool. And uh, you can also customize the headband. But I found this one definitely had a lot of um, padding on the inside. It was never an issue. And since the ear cups are pretty large, they have 45 millimeter drivers inside, uh, they are great for over the ear. And um, they don't make my ears hot or warm. They don't even touch my ears, honestly. Um, I have pretty normal sized ears, I think, and they sit, they fit perfectly inside these ear cups. So, th and I'd honestly put them on the much lighter uh, weight scale than I would on other headphones, particularly to the uh, Audio-Technica AT, 
HM50Xs. Those are a little bit heavier than these, I feel. And I think it's due to the plastic design of them with the slight aluminum, um, the base and which holds the ear cups on. I don't really know what to call that. But uh, they are very lightweight, so that's a great bonus, and they're very comfortable. But again, one of the biggest things about the custom uh, product line from Bayer Dynamic are these bass ports on the bottom that let you tune the amount of bass you get from these headphones um, on a range of pretty much zero to four. You can open and close the sliding port on the bottom of both ear cups, which are gonna let you pretty much let in more ambient noise and open or close the base cups uh, or the base ports on the inside, giving you just a bunch of different customization options for your music or your gaming or whatever you're listening to. And I still think that's really cool and they don't really deliver a different sound from the ordinary Custom One Pro. So if you see any reviews, you've heard any information on them, these aren't gonna offer a different sound or different customization options in terms of the music. So now it gets towards the end of the review where I have to decide whether I would recommend these or not. And this one was kind of hard because these are the newer edition of a very popular older model. But for $300, I, I can't recommend these for everyday use. The Custom One Pros, the older ones, if you can nab them for $120 to $150, that is a great, great price and a steal for these pair of headphones. But to have these and the only real benefit would be using them particularly just for in-studio use, I, I, can't, I can't really recommend that for such a large price point at $300. Now, yes, if you are a professional in the audio recording field, say you're an audio engineer or your profession requires you to be in a studio for a large amount of time, um, these will be a worthy upgrade or a worthy purchase for you because these are going to give you the best sound monitoring from whatever you're doing in the studio since these are specifically tuned for the studio use. But if you're just a normal person, an audiophile, a gamer, or just a person who wants to pick up a new pair of headphones, I can't recommend these guys. Definitely pick up the older model at a cheaper price. These are just going to be for people who want to use these in a studio, specifically audio engineers. So I just wanted to break these down for you guys, tell you my thoughts and opinions on them with the time that I've had them because these are the newer model of a very, very popular older pair. They deserve some recognition and review in case people were curious what the difference was between the older Custom One Pros and the newer Custom Studios. If you wanted to know why the big price jump was, now you know, and I can't recommend them. But again, to kind of put this whole review in a smaller, condensed review, they still have the great sound, they still feel comfortable, they're still very customizable. They are just tuned for studio use, and I recommend going with the older model you can find very cheaply on Amazon or eBay. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Kind of messed that one up there. But give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, if this helped you out in any way. If you have any questions, comment down below. Or you can always hit me up on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. I am very, very heavily engaged with my fans and people on Twitter who are always asking me questions or just engaging with me and the channel. I'm always throwing up channel updates and kind of sneak peeks to my next reviews or videos. So if you're a fan of Twitter, you can hit me up, at RandomFrankP. And guys, I hope you enjoyed. Please hit subscribe if you did. I got a ton of tech stuff coming up. I've done a ton of tech stuff in the past. Gaming, tech reviews, headphones, keyboards, you name it, I've covered it. And I hope to do so for you in the future. Thank you, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.